Okay. When I catch my horse up, I got her saddled up here and we're gonna ride her. Uh, she's had a little bit of time off here. We've been riding some other horses. So I always go through my groundwork and I, I'm gonna go back with you folks and just show you it again about maybe how my groundwork's a little bit different than a lot of folks are. But uh, it's just, you know, a groundwork is like maybe shaking somebody's hand and saying, how are you feeling today? If, if you know what to look for and all horses are a little bit different, but horses being horses, they have reactions that you're looking for that are gonna tell you that they're relaxed. And, and a horse having the ability to get round when you're asking them to do these transitions where you're moving like that, a horse that's, that's not relaxed won't allow themselves to get round. They'll be stiff and braced. An another thing to look for that's Common in a horse that's bothered, maybe his head's a little bit higher than his withers are to where he's quite aware, he's looking around and you know, you can tell. She's kind of creeping into my space here. I don't allow her in my space unless I invite her in. With this mare, because she's very standoffish, I, I, I wouldn't crucify her for doing that. I just kind of correct her on it like that because any time that she kind of wants to hang with me and, and be a little bit closer like that, I'm gonna reward as much as I can because she's been a very standoffish mare ever since I've got her. So when I'm looking for her and I move her around here, I'm gonna offer her the left here, step to her. And I'm really wanting her, at a, a horse at this stage here, I'm wanting her to feel about the energy that I'm offering here. So my, my energy is pretty low key and I would expect her to be pretty relaxed and low key too. She seems a little bit maybe maybe stiff, a little bracy here maybe. I'm just gonna work through this a little bit. So I'll send her around here to the left. You folks can watch and I'll see how we adjust what I'm getting. She's, uh, she's sort of thinking outside the box here. Now, where I might be giving her a little bit of, a little bit of trouble right there is on her, on her drive line, and, and what I mean by the drive line is, say right about where my cinch is right there is sort of an imaginary line on your horse. And there's an, it, on all herd animals really they have, it. it's called the drive line, that if I'm in front of that, I should be able to stop them or I should be able to turn them. So what I need to do is I need to be behind that. So when she was rolling around, if I wasn't in proper position as she would be going around and I'm sort of standing still, and she checks in with me and I haven't moved my feet. What I could be doing is positioning myself in front of that drive line a little bit. And she says, well, you're in front of me. You need me to stop. I don't think that was the case, but we'll check it out here. So I'm offering her the left here. I'm gonna bring up a little energy. And she was acting a little lethargic in that, how she was moving around. That's a little better already now. There we go. So I'm behind the stirrup, as you can notice. Now what I'm gonna do is when I go to change direction, I'm gonna talk you through it before I do it. A Little more life. This is me suggesting that you go forward. I'm gonna stop here and explain how I'd use suggest as tell in my groundwork. She licked her lips right there, which is nice. I was reading something the other day about it and, and something I've been around horses a long time and I've seen, I, I understand when a horse puts his head down and licks his lips that it's a form of relaxation. And in what I was reading was talking about, it's an invol involuntary reaction to where endorphins are being released and they're relaxing. So it's a good response to look for when you're working with your horse, if they lower their head and lick their lips. They're, in a, they're telling you they're in a, in a good frame of mind. Yeah, like Mickers over here. Yeah, they're in a good frame of mind to where they're, they're looking they're looking for what you're asking. So it, it's, a, it's a really good sign and you can build on it right there. A horse that's closed mouth, dry mouth and everything like that, not opening his mouth, you need to probably do a little bit more work on loosening him up and getting him to relax because he's telling you that he's not relaxed, okay? So this mare here now, if I'm sending her around to the left and I wanna change directions on her, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get her to disengage her hindquarters first. So what I need to do is I need to change the placement of my hands on my lead before I do that. So as she's traveling around, 
my directing hand would be my left hand, my driving hand is my right hand. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change hands to where I take my right hand and put it in front of my left to where my right hand becomes my directing hand and my left hand becomes my driving hand. And I'm gonna do it before I'm looking for the transition. So I would send her to the left and when I would roll her hind quarters and disengage them, I'm gonna have her set up to be going to the right before she goes to the right. So here I'm offering her the left, I bring up some energy. I'm gonna send her around. I'm gonna tip her up to a trot. Okay now, so right hand in front of left, hind quarters away, keep her moving forward, forward, forward. Now bring her forward and through and off to the right. And I was set up for her to go to the right before she did. Now I'm looking for some, we we'll call it some float in that rain right here to where I don't want her pulling on me. So when she goes to the outside to where she takes the slack out of that rein, stay behind that stirrup, she takes the slack out of that rein, I'm gonna bump her and say, just keep to the inside here. Now she's going to the right, I'm gonna change her to the left. So it's gonna be left hand in front, right hand forward. Eh, I didn't like her disengagement. Tip her hind quarters away, there forward. Forward, forward, looking for that disengagement. Bring her front end through, off the other way. Good, good. Keep her to the inside here, forward. Okay, and roll her hind quarters off and stop her. Good, relax. Okay, so there, there's plenty of opportunity right there to, to build on that and have that smoother. Now this mare has been flagged on quite a bit, but when I take the flag down, every time I pull a flag out on her, she acts like she hasn't seen it before. But the difference is, is instead of it taking me 15, 20 minutes to get her good about the flag, it, the time just keeps getting smaller and smaller. So I'm gonna introduce the flag to her again. Hmm? So right here, if I just take this flag and I rub this around on her, this is the desensitizing her. Working a flag on your horse has got two components to it. There's the sensitizing and there's the desensitizing. So if I'm taking the flag and rubbing it all around here, I'm telling her the flag is nothing to worry about. Both sides, make sure you do it on both sides. I just took that flag right there and I just put it in front of her driveline which stopped her. And the answer you're looking for when you're in the desensitizing mode of your flag work is for her to keep her feet stopped, okay? I'm not asking her to go anywhere. The right answer that I'm looking for from her is for her to stand still and relax. You know it would be gold right now is for her to put her head down and lick her lips. But she's probably not gonna give me that. Because like I said before, she's seen the flag lots, but she, she doesn't like it. That doesn't mean you don't do it. You need to get them good about things they don't like and things that bother them and do it in a safe manner. Okay, now what I might do now, so her desensitizing her there to where she's standing still and relaxed with it is I might go back to sensitizing her to it to where if I offer her, say, the left, I bring my hand up. Now see, now the flag has meaning. The answer right now is, is to feel what I'm asking with my body language and the flag. I'm asking for her to move her feet hind quarters away so I can work on her yielding those hind quarters. And when I'm looking, when I talk about her yielding the hind quarters, I'm looking for that hind left leg to step forward and through so she's crossing over. Bring the front end through and go the other way. Now she travels around to the right I like this though, even though she doesn't like the flag, 
she, she tolerates it and she's getting better about it all the time. Been hanging in there with her. I've been hanging in there with the flag on her because it's, she doesn't like it, but she's tolerating it. But as you can see, as she's moving around, I, I'm holding on to my, my lead here with an open hand. So she's soft. She's trying to be good, although she's still telling me, you know what, that flag bothers me a little bit, but she's trusting in me. She's believing in me that I'm not gonna get her in trouble. So if I'm offering her the right here, I'm behind the drive line. I'm gonna change hands on my lead, send her hind quarters away, so it's the hind right stepping forward and through, forward and through, no, 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 not yet. Don't turn yet, don't turn yet. I'm looking for that disengagement. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Good, now stop. Now bring your front end through, good. Now she came through that transition a lot nicer than she did earlier going from left to right. Now I'm gonna take the life out of my body and I'm gonna relax and I'd like her to get her feet stopped, okay? Now I'm gonna go back to desensitizing her to the flag. Okay, so. As you can see when I'm doing this, I'm not giving her any direction. My, my lead hand right here is, is right at my hip. I'm not saying I don't need you to go anywhere, Mare. Maybe move her around here. Good, and I'm gonna rub on her on this side. Now my lead hand, which is my right hand now, I'm not saying go anywhere. There's no life in my body, I'm very relaxed. She feels like she has to move her feet. I could just block her with my flag. Good. Maybe go like this. Okay, things happen above her. I don't want her scared if I have a flag up here or a rope. The answer right now when I'm doing this is to keep your feet quiet. And I want her to read me. So if I could go to here to where my, my body, let, this is like me sitting in position three. We talked about the different positions on when we're sitting in our saddle. I'm sitting in position three. I'm doing the same thing here right now where when I'm on the ground, I'm not asking for anything. Okay. So this tool of mine, I want her to understand is just a tool. And what she needs to do is look to me for direction. Now, if I take this flag and I'm in position three right now, if I go to position two with life, there, took a lot less. Now she feels of me. Now we're gonna ride off. Now I'm gonna go to position three again. Okay, I just sat back in my saddle. In my easy boy I talked about earlier, I'm in position three right now, and I'm not asking for anything from her. Okay. Like I said earlier, what would be gold right now? She put her head down, <laughs> relax and lick her lips, but I don't think she's gonna give it to us. She has in the past, I've had her to wear. She would do that, but, but she's saying, you know, <clears throat> Keith looks pretty relaxed right here, right now. He's not bothered. I probably don't need to be bothered by that tool. Then I might change it up again to where, well, let's go to the right this time. I'm gonna offer her the right, so now I have meaning. There's life. I'm gonna pick up a little life. There we go. I'm gonna tip her nose towards me, send her hindquarters away. There it is, there's that disengagement I'm looking for. There, look, she's even do, she can do it at a walk because I've quiet my body down quite a bit. Let's see how her transition is there and she's moving off softly. Real cool. So we, we've talked about this before too, but 
this, this flag is, this is life. This is things out there in the world that you can't control. And what you want your horse to be able to do is that when stuff's happening like that, this may be pretty wild and Western and that's gonna bother your horse and your horse is maybe on the verge of the panic mode. Do I need to get out of here? Cause you know, your horse is a flight animal and their natural instinct is when they get scared, they wanna get out of town. And if they think you're part of the problem, they're gonna think about getting rid of you first and then looking after themselves. So in using the flag to where you can build on it, to where they understand that when stuff is happening that they don't really like, if they look to you for direction and you're relaxed, then they can say, you know what? My leader in our herd of two is totally calm about this. I have nothing to worry about. So there's times when th this is just a tool. There's times when this has meaning and there's times when it has no meaning. And they can tell the difference whether it has meaning or not by reading the life that I'm offering them. So this is kind of what I would do in my groundwork. Uh, she, like I said, she's not great about it yet. I've been at it for quite some time with her, but she's way better. And it's, it takes as much as it does. I mean, some horses, they they get onto it real quick. And there's others that, you know, uh, I've had some that where I've flagged off them for years and they never got to where I'd say they were real good about it. They got to where they understood it and they tolerated it, but they weren't really good about it. And, and horses that I flagged colts on and did a lot of other things on them, <clears throat> but uh, they never got to where you'd say, the flag doesn't bother them. Yeah, it bothers them, but they look to me and if, and if I'm telling them that it's cool, they, they put up with it. I've got another little thing that I'm, I'm gonna show you right smartly too, about how I would uh, build to where I'd get my horse good about this before maybe I'd get on, get on their back and do it. So stay, stay with me and uh, we'll show you what I mean.